All right, today we're going to learn how to size an eye joist, a wood eye joist in a Forte web. So all of these eye joists here are going to be 18 inch wood joists. They're all currently at 16 inches on center and they hang her into these primary beams. So this is a townhome project and each unit, this is a second floor right here. Here's the primary beams for the cantilever. And so here is our joist. So we're going to take a look and see the length on them for the clear span is 18 foot 8 inches. So we come over to Forte Web. We start the project. Make sure you're in the right address. Building code, let's use 2018. Everything else looks good here. So we're going to add a floor joist here. I'm going to call them second floor joists. All right, let's define the spin. It's going to be 18 foot 8 as we determined over here. You could also use the command DI for dimension, and that'll let you get an idea of how long this span needs to be designed for 18 foot 8. There's no multi span, there's no overhang, so we're good. Uh, the supports are actually going to be face mounted hangers onto beams. And these beams are likely going to be micro lambs, so I'm changing that here. Dead load 10 PSF, floor live load 40 PSF. This is if you want to add any uh, holes going through the middle of these joists for plumbing or something like that, but uh, we don't need that at this time. Floor performance, um, click this, any TJ Pro rating. This is just something by the manufacturer of this software, uh, not necessarily a, a code requirement. Decking material, uh, we typically use you know, 23, 30 seconds paneling, glued and nailed. Ceiling types can be half inch gypsum. So now we're going to pick TJIs. I'm going to go ahead and let it pick whichever ones it wants. We know it wants to be 18 inches. Uh, I'm going to choose three different spacings and I only want them to be one ply. Let's see what solutions we get. Looks like the most cost effective. So they do this evaluation based on wood volume. So the most cost effective is actually a TJI 360 at 24 inches on center. Uh, it uses less wood than the other options. We'll go ahead and go to the report, see how it looks. The member reactions. Looks like we had 933 pounds. Allowed is 1080, so we're good. We passed that. We passed shear, 38%. Our moment passes. The actual is 4356. Uh, allowed is 94, 65 foot pounds. We got a live load deflection. That's good. Minimums L over 360. Uh, total load deflection, minimum is L over 240, we're good, we're L over 866. So everything looks pretty good, we can also figure out what type of hangers to use um, for Simpson. So once we size those beams, we'll be good there, but now we know the reactions here. So we know that we need to use 18-inch uh, TGI 360 at 24 inches on center. So we can come in here and label these, how we do that. We come up and say, put a dimension line, highlight it, say 18 inch TGI 360 at 24 inches on center. And then we would also need to come in and change these to actually be 24 inches on center. So what I would do is start them from here. 24 and then we keep going currently we haven't evaluated any point loads but as we go up the structure um, we need to check that to see if any point loads coming from other beams or posts on the third or fourth story uh, land in any of these clear areas if so we need to pick those up and reanalyze a new joist that way 
but for your typical 18 foot 8 inch span um, eye joist, this is what we've got. So we want to take this same design, duplicate it over in these other units that are identical. Um, as you can see, these middle three or four units are identical with the same span. It looks like this outside one is different. That's a 23 foot 6 span. So I would say we need to come back and call this interior second floor joist for these interior units. And then we can do another one, call it exterior unit second floor. This one very similar, um, you know, code minimum, live load deflection criteria is Elever 360, but we typically use Elever 480 uh, for better performance and less uh, bounciness to these floors. We know that our um, clear span for these is going to be 23 foot 6 and 3 quarters, so I'll just use 23 foot 7. going to be the same thing where we're actually face mounted into adjacent beams. We'll make them LVLs. No accessories. All right. Loads. We'll do 10 PSF dead, 40 PSF live. That's all we've got for the typical. Jump back through here like we did before. Any TJ Pro rating will do. Again, we want to use any of these with an 18 inch depth class to them. Uh, I like to use either 16, 19.2, or 24 inches on center. I almost never use 32. I don't even know why that's an option, actually. All right, so we've got same situation here. TGI 360s at 24 inches on center passes again, and, and is also the most efficient on wood volume. We can check the report. Oh, man. So the... Uh, <laughs> The actual and allowed reactions are exactly the same, so it just barely passes. Our deflections look good. All of our 40s are minimum live load deflection, total load deflection. Our minimums L over 240, uh, and we've got 464, so we're good. Everything looks pretty good here, so this will actually end up being the same. This is going to be. TGI 360s at 24 for these outside units. So beyond this, we basically just need to start the drafting. 18 inch TGI 360 at 24 inches on center. And then we want to do something similar where we actually show them at 24 inches on center. So we're going to come in through here, do this copy. Oops, keep going. A little bit tedious at first, but we can actually um, delete these as well. Oops, delete these as well. Since they're originally drawn at 16 on center. All right. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm actually going to, since all these interior units are identical, I'm just going to copy and paste this whole thing. Use the copy command. I'm going to pick just some common reference point. Mm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Same thing here. Let's see. Right there. And then the exterior units go right here. Use the mirror command 
to bring it over this way. And then we want to make sure we label them on every unit. So copy this label over. And that is the basics of sizing typical wood eye joists with a distributed area loading and no point loads.